Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Evolutions are back in FC25, so I decided to dress up for the occasion. Not really, but yes, we had four new evolutions released yesterday. It felt like they fixed it and they caught up with all the evos that we were supposed to get. They dropped them all at once yesterday. It was a ton of crazy content and there are so many insane cards that we can get to working on a building. And so crazy, in fact, these cards are that it's making prices drop on the market as people are getting out the old gold cards that continue to drop on the market but took a big hit yesterday because of that evolution content. And they're bringing in those new and upgraded cards and to counter that market drop we do have to talk about some investments that we could make today you see my coins i'm broke i'm all in we have some prices that could look good for a rise today let's talk about it guys if you're excited for it drop a thumbs up and subscribe if you are new let's go over that content from yesterday starting with the sbc's I think this is our first Moments SBC of the year. Correct me if I'm wrong, but Garasi, a Moments SBC, I'll be honest, the colors of the card design mixed with a dynamic image look really sick for this card. He got a whopping plus 10 pace over his inform and a four-star skill move boost. And uh, yeah, Chip Shot Plus is maybe not the best, but he is more of like a... Ooh, advanced forward plus plus as well. I did not know that, but this is more of like a strength and a heading type of striker, right? 89 heading accuracy, 90 jumping. He's six foot two. What's his strength? 88 strength. That's decent. If you're a Dortmund fan or if you want this type of striker, it's pretty easy and cheap to get done. I mean, cheap is a relative term. 85,000 coins. It's not bad, but I think that price is okay for the upgrade that he got. I mean, to most of us, it's probably a mid card, but that's a pretty emotional one if you're a Dortmund fan. And uh, yeah, that's, that's nice. That's our first moments SBC of the year. We take those. I don't think those give any extra chemistry or anything like that this year, but it is, again, the lower rated squads to get done as well, which are really, really easy. And EA love doing that at this moment in time with those SBCs. Now, the real SBC that we had yesterday, not that Garasi needs to be overlooked, was the new EFL squad foundations. Like we get every single Saturday, new squad foundations. We got Musa Sissoko. And you don't see this card here as a inactive SBC because bro's already in my club. Guys, this SBC is only 24,000 coins. It is dirt cheap. And it is making center defensive mids and center mids drop on the market because it is such an insane card it's a fifa legend if you remember sissoko cards of old this card just on its base stat wise for that price is incredible i know the links are a little bit tough he's got long ball pass plus he's three star three star and he's hullet gang except for shooting but he has 96 shot power i wish he had power shot even like regular play style that'd be insane but look at all these play styles inside of your technical block intercept slide tackle of course a long ball plus and relentless he can play any of the center mid central roles center mid cdm cam and he does have holding plus which is what i use as a cdm i think it's very very nice he's also got box to box as a center mid and of course the best part about it all is he fits into the new foundation evo if you had saved any of these i saved the one that gives quick step and ping pass I am 1,000% putting this Sissoko card into this evolution. Look at the state of that item. 85 pace, dribbling, passing, defending, and physical with 76 shooting. Again, I know the links are probably the problem, right? But he is French. So if, if you can at least get him on 2 chem, I think this is an unbelievable card for the price. Like, it honestly is insane it's so cool that it's a fifa legend as well for a guy like sissoko so if you were lucky enough to maybe save one of these new foundation evos uh not looking too bad now for a piece of content to be honest these new foundation evos that we were not happy about last week um that is there and that does go along with the uh squad foundations objectives that we had too we've got gnoto inside of here for efl and then we also have uh oh this is a pretty pacey right back 94 pace with you know five foot nine pretty short but at least decent defending. He's got an intercept, jockey, block, long throw, and not a bad card. So that's a nice set of squad foundations there for sure if you want to get that done. And again, the links for Sissoko are going to be kind of the problem part. But he is French, so I think it's doable. And uh, that is, like, guys, you want to see something crazy. This is crazy. That 25,000 coin SBC yesterday with the evolution on top of that has literally sent this Zyre Emery down from 350,000 coins to 280k. I know maybe the Evo content's probably, you know, a bit of a reason that this is going down too, but that Sissoko is honestly insane, man. I mean, I have Taram in my team, and now I'm going to have Sissoko. 
uh, what is Tehran going out? Are we going to play both those guys? Maybe I'm going to have to start playing a two CDM formation, like four triple two or something. I don't know, because I really want to have both Sissoko and Tehran on my team. I'm 100% doing that Sissoko Evo. So that was honestly wild. That was the best set of squad foundation players, especially with that Sissoko being the SBC, I think that we have had, even if it's just for emotional reasons. Now, let's talk about Evos because, guys, first of all, before content yesterday, after we put out the video, yesterday's video, EA tweeted like an hour, not even an hour afterwards, and they basically said, without saying it directly, that Evos were fixed. Uh, and they said that players who were impacted negatively by the whole Evo situation over the past week will be contacted in game regarding the Sprint Supreme or Dazzling Dribbler. And I did Sprint Supreme. Uh, I didn't have any problems, but it does say submitted into three or more evolutions have experienced slightly altered attributes and they cannot be reverted to their previous state. So that's really interesting. I wonder what EA is going to say to those who were impacted negatively. I guess we're going to have to find out and see. Uh, but basically this was them saying it without saying it that evos were fixed and well the content drop yesterday proved that this was the biggest w of all evos are finally back and they were like you know what we're just gonna release a whole bunch at one time which is totally fine guys we had four new evos the bag of tricks evo uh what else goal frenzy we had playmaker glow up and rapid wing mastery i even started to take a look through a few of these this one might be my favorite here to be completely honest you get a player as a silver put them up to incisive pass plus as a playstyle plus and then you can chain this with a lot of other uh, evos as well like, oh these evos are really really good they give out some nice boost it's kind of hard to look through all of them i think this bag of tricks evo might be one of the biggest ones and a lot of people are putting lamine yamal in it but there's actually, I think, is there a chain Evo for it? No, it's just this one for Lamine Yamal. This Evo is being completed like crazy. And of course, with this, his card's not up that much um, because the card is so super packable. But a lot of players are going up on the market. And this is also a reminder, especially if you're going like for Pobega. Of course, he's extinct, but what an Evo that is right there. I mean, all 83 stats are above with Incisive Pass Plus. That is insane. Uh, the Olise Inform you can put into the Bag of Tricks Evolution as well. This card has gone up like extinct at 32,000 coins. This is why we always talking about stocking discard informs in the current team of the week for evolutions that are maybe currently out that they fit or evolution change down the line, especially for informs guys, because with the dynamic images, the further that we go along through this year, stocking those guys like Curtis Jones in this team of the week, buy one for 10 or 11 K stick them in the club. If you've got over 150,000 coins of a budget, Buy one, put it in the club, and then see you in two months when that card's like 30k or something because he'll have a rise just like Olise did here. But guys, this Evo set, uh, it's going to take forever to look through all of them, so I don't want to do that. But look at some of the chains that you can create with just the active Evos right now for this Zidane card. Look look at that. That's a crazy one. Uh, Arda Guler is extinct on the market because he fits into Goal Frenzy and then Bag of Tricks with the positions that he's got unreal unreal evolution for him right there and then there's a liverpool bronze card yeah this guy this guy is going crazy how many is that one two three four that's five is this six evos you have to do i think it's just five evos it yeah five evos you have to do but look at that from a bronze card he's ex extinct on the market as well all the way to that insane of an item that's so cool honestly so cool what you can create with evos and it's so nice to have these back this ramsey card Looks unbelievable as well. Goal Frenzy and Bag of Tricks. If you've got like a left mid that can also play, I think, center mid, right? Uh, that combination there is really, really sick. I guess it's just for left mids and right mids. There are so many incredible Evos that people are creating right now because of the ones that were dropped yesterday. So it's now time to get back into this, dive straight in, and, uh, you know, mess around with it, right? And a lot of people were doing that. A lot of people were creating those insane cards. You even saw, because of how many people were doing this Lamina Mall evolution, not the fact that his gold card went up a whole bunch in price because it really didn't, but you started to see other items on the market like Pedri's Inform. Pedri Inform started to rise like right after content yesterday because people, I mean, it probably helped that Barca won, right? But people are going out and buying this Pedri to link to the um, the new evolution. I even want to shout out this Guerrero card because yesterday after the Elisa Evo hit, 
He was as low as 43,000 coins, and he's been slowly going up since, since then. He was about 47k just a bit ago. Um, you know, people buy links to those super crazy Evos that have come out too. But man, this is it's just insane to have this back, and it's so great and so awesome. And I'm really glad that EA like did that. They kind of were like, all right, you know what? We didn't release Evos for so long that we're just going to release a whole bunch of them at once. Maybe some of these were supposed to come out ahead of time or previously, right? And I'm glad that they did that all at once. That is super duper nice. So, of course, we love that. We absolutely love that. But the counter impact of that is that the market is dropping because people are saying, yo, I don't need a card like Rodrigo anymore in my team when I can go do the evolution for that Laminia Mall, who I probably have packed untradeable in my club. So guess what? Prices have absolutely tanked, and it's mostly on the gold cards. Jude Bellingham, I'm not just showing Madrid players. Maybe they're down a little bit extra. Again, we're mentioning the game yesterday. If you're a Madrid fan, I'm sorry. But look at this price, 153K yesterday, down to 120,000 coins. Could he rebound a little today? Yeah, he might. Rodrigo, from 40K, down to 29,000 coins. Rafa Leal, I think Serie A. People might be moving on from the Serie A because of the Rafinha SBC that has come out. I'm starting to see some of those links start to fall off. Same thing with the Serie A links. Uh, or Syria and USA links, right? Because of the uh, Alex Morgan and, and those players that we had, NWSL links, 427K down to 360. He rebounded a little bit, and now he's all the way at 340. Guys, we are in basically a market crash, to be honest, um, because of Evolution content, the Trailblazers content, and I think also a lot of the demand that there is for these Trailblazer cards and the fact that we have to use them as well. Speaking of uh, NWSL links dropping, look at the state of this. Sophia Smith, 228 down to 178. Still now at 180,000 coins. We could see a little bit of a market rebound today, but you guys, look at this market. It is it's getting cooked, and it's kind of what we talked about in yesterday's video too, right? It's like the content right now, and not that we expected Evos to come back with this crazy um, of a vengeance if you would say it like that that they did but uh like the even the content for trailblazers the sbcs the cards that are in packs i think interest a lot of people and there's promise of more of that to come um with this promo with the interesting upgrades that the players get with the tr um play style pluses and the roll plus pluses that every single card gets it's even impacting the out of packs cards like remember de young He's 1.19 right now, and yesterday he was as high as 1.35. That's links, of course, to the new Rafinha SBC. And even on the lower tier, like we talked about um, that Guerrero card dropping, Marquinhos is down in price. Trent is 380 to 390. You look at some other out-of-packs inform cards, Saka inform is down. Can we take a look at, like, where's Martinelli? He's a guy that I look at all the time in terms of a lower budget price, 51K, so he's holding up okay. But look at Lautaro, he's 170. He was over 200 after Rivals Rewards. I sold Vandeman for 210, he's 188. What about some other informs, just real quick. Vert is 150, wow, that's down a, a lot. That is down a ton. Messi is 179, that's down. Uh, Laminia Mall's player of the month, by the way, with that evolution, this looks like terrible value now because the Evo card for Laminia Mall is clear of this one, especially because he goes to four star, four star, right? Oh no, he does not go four star, four star. Maybe that's a different one. Anyways, um, yeah, wow, market is definitely dropping because of all this content, and it's kind of like that market reset as well that I mentioned a couple of days ago. I'm even looking at some icons. Like I, I'll be honest, boys, I bought a Figo. I bought a Luis Figo icon card for a price that I thought was insane. I was like, oh, this dude's an 800k icon, right? I bought him for 710. He's like 750. If you look at his graph from Thursday until now, he's been like slowly dropping because there's not as many people buying those cards. And kind of like we talked about yesterday, it just seems like we're getting to a peak with some of this, uh, some of the prices on the market, especially with these middle tier to top tier cards because of the new content that's coming out. And it's probably going to continue to go that way. So we're being careful with the market. And I do think prices are going to continue to drop off a little bit more today. But I think there are some investments to be made as well. And the first thing I want to highlight is these Trailblazer cards. Of course, you guys know we have that objective, right? Where you have to play with one of these 90K for hemp. Wow, holy, that's low. You have to play with one of these every single day to get the rewards. Today is day three, which gives us... In 80 plus times 10, which is actually 
insane. That's a really sick. Uh, wait, is it? Is it? No, it's day four. Sorry, day four gives us the 80 plus times 10. Today we get a hunter, which is not that sick. But we all want to progress towards this because the 80 plus times 10 is dope. And then the overall reward of an 84 2 is decent too. But yesterday was pull a sick day. I got to get this one done, of course. Um, because I want to get him in the club. But this is investment number one that we could potentially make. Guys, did you notice yesterday that all of these Trailblazers cards went from a very low price of like 20,000 coins, which we mentioned last night, they were all like 20 to 30K. I was, I mean, looking back, I should have been honed in on this, but look at this rise. Everybody was buying these cards yesterday to go and complete that objective because you're required to use a Trailblazer in-game. 23,000 coins to 43K for this 84-rated goalkeeper in the Trailblazers team. All of the Trailblazers were at least 40K on the market yesterday, and then they came back down their 15,000 coins. Now, John Duran went from, what, did he, what was he, 56K up to 67, and he was just down at, right now he is, 38,000 coins. I think this is a good investment for today because people are once again going to get on the game today and go, oh my, I need to use one of these players. And maybe they haven't bought one and kept it in their club. Maybe they haven't packed one. But the continuation of this objective is something that we're going to see throughout the rest of the week, especially until you get that 80 plus times 10, which is what a lot of people will be after as a semi-decent pack. So I have sent about 600,000 coins into these cards with John Duran and with some of these cards at like less than 15,000 coins. Yeah, it's a little bit risky because they're in packs and we have squad battle rewards today. This is going to create a really good opportunity to invest in a few of these. Like I even bought a hemp with a hunter at 99k and she's still like 97, 98, but she might go down to 90 during squad battles today. I just think that when everybody gets on this game today, they're going to have to go and use these cards once again. They're interesting to try because the prices of this promo team are honestly a good bit better. I mean, there's a lot of expensive cards, but there's also a decent number of like lower tier, middle tier cards. Stanway and Hemp are solid cards for the price. If you want to go try them out, Robinson 200K. John Duran is probably the most broken 30. I'm not just pumping him or talking about him like this because I have my transfer list. I keep seeing people tweet about this card and say he is the most broken striker with Power Shot Plus, especially after you evolve him for 30,000 coins or 40,000 coins. In the Premier League links as well. I hear very good things about him. I'm so excited to use Pulisic. I bought him and tried him out. He was pretty fun. The whipped pass plus is actually pretty crazy. Um, I just need a striker that's tall enough to head the ball. And Alex Morgan is not that type of striker. So I think there's a lot of demand for these cards today. I think with squad battle rewards, they will dip a little. But again, just like we saw yesterday on almost every single one of these, I frauded yesterday. I sold Pulisic right here. I was like, oh, he's going to drop because he's going to be obtainable through objectives, right? Bro went up to 480K, man. He flew, uh, as did basically every single one of these cards. Even this Mingueza, who a lot of people I think are using in Evo 2, 52K up to 68. So I try to go for some of the more hype cards. Don't, you know, look away from a card like this Hemp, though. She went from 109 to 140. She's pretty rare on the market. Stanway. I picked up a Stanway as well with a shadow at 78,000 coins. She went from 90 to 140. I mean, she was she was 94k last night. She's 77. We do have squad battle rewards. Again, I, I think that's just an investment for today. I think you want to sell, as you saw with these cards though, you saw them rise like crazy and you saw them drop like crazy after content, right? I believe the same thing today would happen. They're not going to go up as high today. Like, no shot. There's going to be more people investing and more people have packed a card, maybe from Weekend League Rewards or something like that. So I don't think the rise would be as good. But if this card goes from 15K up to like 25 Boom, that's a great investment. So I think the peak time to sell would be right around content. Look at this spike yesterday, right? If you look at all the graphs for these cards, if you're going to get invested and try this out, um, again, it's short term and it is a little risky because they're in packs. But I think you want to sell around the hour, maybe even right leading up to the content drop. Because if you sell before then, you know, you're know you probably going to miss out on some of the rise. You see there was this crazy spike right around content. I think... We'll watch the rise. We'll see what Squad Battle Rewards does. Maybe a bit of a dip. But then I think these cards will go up. I'm hoping for like 25K. That would be sick for like the lowest of the budget cards. Maybe John Duran, who I got a lot of here at like 35, 36, a couple at 37. Hopefully he goes up to like, I don't know, 50? That's probably asking too much. But like 47K. I also picked up a bunch with Chem Style. So hopefully those should sell for a bit more. That's kind of my investments at the moment. And that's investment number one. If you don't want to risk it and you don't want to mess around with that kind of short term riskiness today, well, I've got another one for you. SBC Fodder. Yes, we're looking at fodder once again. Today's probably going to be, I think if you look at last week, Sunday last week was the low point for fodder. 
or the day. Yeah, you see here Sunday, Saturday night with squad battle rewards, and then Sunday night as well was a low point. No, no, that's that's Sunday with squad battles right there. So Sunday with squad battles, 85s were 4.9k, just under 5,000 coins. And then what do they go to by the middle of the week? 6k, right? Those went up a bunch. They're already five and a half right now. But the good thing about investing in fodder this week is we have a hero pack that is refreshing tomorrow. The max 88 hero pack that is in SBCs is going to refresh. So myself, probably, if I'm going to get tempted to do it again, and a lot of other people in this game are going to want to do this pack again. And then what do we have coming on Wednesday? The max 88 icon upgrade pack that's already been added to the code. So fodder is a no brainer. Once again, this week, I think if you want to go for the quickest return on your investment, you're looking at 85s at like 5.2 to 5.3 on a bid. And you're looking at 86s at about eh, probably 8.3, 8.3 under 8.5 if you can on bids or snipes for those and then 87s for probably 12 and 88s for 14 if you want to go around there but honestly you know 88s might move if there's an 87 rated squad in, in the icon pack this week maybe they would move but again you know guys ea has been going with the lower rated requirements here for a lot of these SBCs. so maybe it will still again be this week the 85 sixes and seven so if you want to get invested on fodder i think that's a pretty safe play for this week and for the top tier look at these prices man they are low they are low because guess what there hasn't been any requirements for high rated fodder but this could be the week that that changes i still think this is a great investment again if you guys have bought this like i have i bought rodri's under 40k i even bought a couple rodri's at like forty one thousand coins because like man i've got some coins i'm gonna just average in a few more of these I still believe in the top tier. Again, it's a longer term investment. This is what I'm speaking of, though. The voting has ended for Liga F Player of the Month and La Liga Player of the Month SBCs. So we don't know exactly who has won yet, but this is the one that Puteas was the front runner for. And if we're going to get a Puteas SBC, that would be potentially the first SBC that would bring us some of our high rated squad requirements. That would be a big one. So we'll wait and see on some more news about this there could be leaks about that i wouldn't expect maybe any news on this in the next couple of days but this might be last call for some of the high rated fodder maybe before we get a big icon or hero player sbc still waiting one of those it's that time of year i'd be surprised if before november we don't get one of those types of sbcs and then same thing for a player of the month we've got that and we've definitely got a lewandowski coming for la liga that one shouldn't be too expensive but you do have a rush lewandowski who's 700k maybe the player of the month will be a couple hundred thousand coins as well so i do think that fodder and then a risky sort of risky play today on the trailblazers card is your best investment i've got a couple of icon flips going as well i can show you guys my transfer list i was a little active on the 59th yesterday I probably made like 150k just flipping some of these icons a couple of a lot of shellins a raul that didn't really net me much i don't like trading with him he does not fluctuate good sanchez was decent a couple of owens at like 400k made like 10 15k there uh, this was my best flip on the day. I bought this kind of all for 505 and sold them for 580. And I did sell my Lewandowski that I bought at 710. Um, I could have sold them for a little bit more, but this actually funded the Cannavaro buy when I had some other icons purchased. So that is the uh, situation with the account. We made some good coins there yesterday, and then I'm invested and ready uh, with a couple of icons as well today for a hopeful day. Of some profits too so that's kind of what we're looking at for the investments today fodder or you can go risky with the trailblazers cards now i, I gotta mention one thing today guys and maybe you've already known this because you live in this part of the world but today is times or the clocks go back the time is changing in uh the uk i think is it just uk or is it europe i don't know exactly but clocks are going back so today we have an opportunity to potentially witness an ea mistake because almost every year when the clocks change oh did i pack any good silvers here oh man okay i'm gonna have to check the price of those because this little price search average thing does not really work at the moment but guys the content time today if you're in a uh country and a time zone other than the uk is going to be different because uh, their time is changing and content always drops at 6 p.m uk so they are going back an hour so if you're like me and you're in the usa that means that they're going to be one hour closer to us which means your content drop is going to be one hour later because that time difference is now one hour less so if you're in eastern time content is going to end up being at 2 p.m eastern today so it'll be what would that be 11 a.m uh on the west coast and if you're in central it would be 
right? 11 a.m. on the West Coast, and it'll be 1 instead of 12 uh, for Central. So kind of do the math if you're in a time zone, um, you know, do the math one hour less or one hour more technically because the time change, I guess it'd be different across the world, but I'm thinking of it from a USA perspective. And if you're in Europe, you're like, Nate, stop yapping. It's my time. It's going to be 6 p.m. But here's the thing I want to mention, right? Sometimes the clocks and the stuff that's on this game is actually set to expire on the old time, right? So like before the clocks changed back today, some of the SBC refresh times, it's going to be messed up for like the whole next week in this game. The store stuff, there's going to be like two hours for content probably for the next couple of days. Uh, the old 6 p.m. and the new 6 p.m. So it's going to be a bit of a mess. But yeah, well, we might have two content drops today if EA forget. Maybe they'll drop something at 5 p.m. UK and then 6 p.m. We'll just have to see. But what would they drop? That's the question, right? We do have one leaked SBC still. There maybe is going to be another one leaked today. Who knows? but this is the only one we have leaked right now jonathan david is coming as an sbc and four star five star he's got the weak foot the links are a bit tough so if this sbc comes out and it's an absolute banger then maybe some of your league one heroes like govu or matuidi those are pretty expensive ones maybe i don't know if Papin would really go up because that would be a replacement for a guy like Papin. but maybe somebody like that could see a bit of a spike in price today if we get this j david if he is the sbc and then i'm still looking out for a new rush mode um ea said that there was going to be a rush mode as a part of the promo and unless i missed it yesterday it's still just the same one that is there so We'll be looking out for that and maybe any other surprises that they would be bringing us today. I got to get started on Foot Champs Week in League because I've not played any games. And uh, I need to play one game with a Trailblazers player today so that I don't forget to get that objective done. But, guys, that's going to be a video for me today. Watch the market today. I'm very invested. I'm hoping for a nice rise. I think it's going to happen. There's a lot of demand. So hopefully we see these Trailblazers cards go up, make a few coins, and then regroup for maybe another W day of content. I don't know if it's going to be as sick as yesterday with all the evolutions. Let me know down in the comments who you guys are evoing. Also, I love it when you guys tweet me or sometimes you guys send me your on PSN messages like the evos that you're doing because it's really easy. If you want to send me those, I'm all, I'm all for it because there's some sick evos that you guys come up with and, and can create. And uh, yeah, Evo's being back is definitely the best thing on this game at the moment. I need to do some research, find some Spurs cards, find some... I saw this Weston McKetty in my club. That's pretty nuts. I don't... Power shot on him. He's got 90 shot power. Doesn't really fit his card that much, but uh, it doesn't have great play styles either for a center mid. But that looks pretty crazy there. So send me some of your Evo's. I'd love to hear about those. But that's going to be a video for me today, guys. If you did enjoy it, drop a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and uh, yeah, have a great Sunday. Best of luck with your Foot Champs games as well, and uh, enjoy the footy today. I will see you guys hopefully in a stream for maybe the two content drop hours. We'll see what EA does with that today. That link's in the description if you want to check us out there, but have a great Sunday. It's been Nate Foot Account. I'll see you guys later. Peace out.